Hey everybody, Neil here. This here is the Quadlock wireless charging head, which I've got mounted on my dusty Tenere. Just behind it, you can see the dampener mounting system. Now, of course, I am a bit of a Quadlock fanboy, but I'd like to point out that all is not necessarily good in the hood. <laughs> Okay, gang, hello. Right, before we get going, as I just stated a moment ago, I'm a bit of a quadlock fanboy. Show you the products that I got, how I use them, why I use them. For the car, the wireless charger. Obviously, it's got a cable from my USB. Awesome product, perfect. Even got one for the desk. Other product I've got, I am a long distance trail runner. I've never had a strap for my arm to carry a phone until this one that works. This is absolutely superb. Once it's on, you just forget about it. And that's the, that's the, that's a real important thing when you're running, you don't want any distractions, you just want to run. And that's how it clicks in place. As a trail runner, I get to see a lovely bit of scenery and I just want to be able to go click, get it off, take a photograph and put it back on. That's how easy it is. And then you can literally forget it. It's as good as any strap I've ever used in the last eight, nine years of, of running that I've done. And I can't endorse that product, the arm strap, anymore. It's brilliant. I love it. Um, and I'm not one for generally taking a phone with me. If I'm going for a run, I want silence, but if I'm, you know, I don't want distractions, but if it's a nice trail run, I'm going some distance, perfect. Now, what else have I done? Do you like this? This is how much I'm confident with the quad lock stuff. That is my Sony FDRX 3000 camera. I've also utilized the quad lock adhesive mount and the adapter plate on the side of my helmet. This is how I mount my camera to my helmet. And that's it, solid as. That I'll have no problems. I've field tested that for what, 18 months now. And I've had no problems with it coming loose. Um, it's it's a perfect piece of kit and that's, that's so easy to use. Take it off, fit it back on. It holds it in place, he says. God, I, can I can fit it better when it's actually on my head. But that's it. And that's how I, that's how I mount my camera. So I've even utilized quad lock from a camera, from a motor vlogging, if you like. Now, reviews. When these came out, everybody was jumping on the bandwagon, giving it a review. You couldn't give this a review without actually testing it for six months. And I've hammered my phone on the front of my bike to test whether or not it's gonna damage the camera. And now a lot of people will be watching this knowing that there's an issue with the iPhones. Uh, I don't know. I don't think it's an Android issue. It's just the mechanisms inside the Apple product that can't cope with being on the front end of a motorbike and probably a mountain bike. I've also got a mount on my mountain bike. Actually, I've taken it off. I put it up here now on my strap if we go for a ride. But um, I've had it on my mountain bike and I'm sure it's probably the same issue. If you've got a mount on your handlebars on your mountain bike and you're hammering down a trail, you're gonna get the same vibration. And what happens is it causes the camera mechanism to die and it'll need replacing. It's not a quad lock problem. It's an iPhone, it's Apple. They're a trillion dollar business and they can't supply a robust enough mechanism in their phones. So quad lock have come up with the damper, the dampener. Now, of course, this is a six months old item. I've been hammering down the trails, as you can see. That has come up brilliant. It's had a proper field test. My phone camera, I'm videoing this uh, on my camera, on, on my phone. And as you can see, it's as clear as a bell. The problem we had was it was knackering the, the mechanism and your camera became unusable and it was jittery. Um, and the only way you could get it fixed, get it fixed is by going to Apple and get them to replace the camera mechanism. Um, so that's had a proper field testing. 
if you've got an iPhone on your bike with your iPhone mounted, you 100% need one of these. It does work. It mimics the movement of your phone, either in your pocket or if you're running down the road or in your car, it will protect it. It will stop it damaging the uh, camera mechanism. And it's 25 Australian dollars, I think. Um, it's not a lot of money, actually. I was quite, quite surprised at how much it didn't cost. I thought it was going to be about another $50, $60 item, but when it came out at $25 retail, I was quite delighted. So, great move. The only downside to having one of these is, now you saw how easy it was to mount my camera in its case on my arm there or any other mechanism. The downside to having one of these is it's flexible by its very nature. The problem then is it's not quite as easy to line up the mounting hole there with the quad lock itself. It takes a few more seconds. Generally, you've got muscle memory. You go up, click, bang, done, or click, bang, done in, in landscape. You bang, bang, done. With the with that mounted underneath your, your quad lock mount, with your dampener there, it's flexible. It's sometimes a bit harder to line it up. I'm sure there's other people have that same problem. Uh, it's not a biggie. By its nature, it's going to be a bit more difficult to just find that bang, click, in it goes. Now, as I said, all is not good or hasn't been good in the hood. The wireless charging head okay i'm going to talk to you about my issues that i've had since day one i was the, probably one of the first ones to receive one of these in australia now it came as a weatherproof item yet that if you can see can you still see where's the camera just there that's not weatherproof i don't care what you say so, and quite a lot realised this. What they did, after the fact, is send out a couple of little spongy seals that go around the USB-C. Took them months to send mine, or for it to arrive. They were blaming the COVID, they were blaming all sorts, but it was coming from Thailand somewhere. Didn't arrive for months, and I kept saying to them, where's my stuff, where's my thing? Because it was raining, it was winter. I couldn't use it. I'd paid hundred and odd dollars for this and it was useless. I couldn't have it on my bag because it was pissing, pissing with rain. Weather was crap and I was concerned that it was going to get ingress into there. Now, they did send them. There were nothing of an item. They, they sent two. One and then a spare. And it got basically a seal that goes on there and then you plug it on and it's sealed, allegedly. Now, the problem was, as you can see from that, that is actually quite a good fit as it is. With the little seal, which I've lost, disappointingly, it didn't quite push home as well. And as such, it came out on a ride. I got to the end of a ride and that had fallen out and the seal had come off. Now they did send to, can't really find it, I've moved out. So I'm without again now, which is frustrating. Now eventually, um, they, they, sent me new, they sent me a new one anyway. They sent me some new seals. I've lost them. Um, it just, this item and the plug in there, saying it's weatherproof, was disappointing for them to send it out as they did. It just lacked a little bit of development, a little bit of product development. It appeared to me, I felt to me like they'd rushed it out. They could have made that a sealed item, not only sit with a seal there, they could have made it a fixed seal there and put an SAE plug lower down the cable. So that was hidden away underneath your tank or behind your fairing and safe. So you could have had a proper sealed unit. That's the disappointing thing about that. Um, it's still not perfect. Interestingly, and I'll go back to all these other products and how, much, how confident I am in them. They've all got deservedly four or five stars on their website. Have a look through every single product, be it that, be it the desktop, be it the car mount, be it every single accessory they have has over four stars and it's deserved and reviews that are going through the roof. They are great products. Apart from one thing, Quadlock, have you got a representative who would like to care to mention as to why that product has zero reviews? This is your 
weatherproof wireless charging head for motorcycles has on the website the australian quad lock website has zero reviews no stars you won't get any stars because simply zero reviews why are they hiding the reviews maybe because it's not a perfect product just must say so there you go thanks for watching see you on the next one